an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty still hangs over Shiguro local council where a Nigerian Air Force helicopter on an evacuation mission crashed, leading to the death of crew members. TVC News correspondent in Niger, in Niger State, Jeremy Bamei visited Guada, a neighboring community, to find out the mood of the people. The week began on a tragic note for the Nigerian Defense Forces, following a Sunday afternoon attack that led to the death of 21 soldiers, followed by the crash of an Air Force helicopter sent to evacuate the bodies of the slain soldiers in Chukuba. This is perceived to be one of the worst hits on the military in recent times. All these happened in two local government councils, Wushishi and Shiroro, where bandits have laid siege for close to a decade. 21 soldiers paid the supreme price in the recent attack in Zungeru and Chukuba. Moreover, a group of bandits have claimed responsibility for bringing down the Air Force helicopter in Chukuba. TVC News visited Guada, a town close to Chukuba in the same local council. The people are going about their activities, but constantly in fear of what might happen next. This is Guada community, a few kilometers away from Chukuba, where the Nigerian Air Force helicopter was shot down on Monday. The mood in this place is quite normal. The people are going about their various activities. You can see cars coming in and out of the market carrying goods. However, the people say they have become a safe haven from people in that axis. Whenever there is an attack like the recent one, people rush down to this community to take refuge. The people say they are scared too because the attacks are gradually encroaching their communities. It has affected their business and livelihoods. Some have run away from their houses because of the threats available now. Because as of that, as of that, that thing happened that day, uh, they were, the, the bandits were on the road called Pepe in our community. That Pepe is the place they usually come between 10 to 1 o'clock or to, to 10 o'clock in, in the night. They come there to, call, to make calls. So when the aircraft was passing through that place, it was just at the, some meters away from the ground. So they get it, they shoot it. So it's some meters away, they fall down. So actually, we are not happy with them because they have been the authority of the day, the bandits, I mean. The activities of bandits are taking a toll on the economy of this area in more ways than expected. They are max prices of commodities or market uh, commodities on their own. We don't have right to fix price for either uh, farm products. If they say a rice of a uh, mudu of milk should be sold at 60, uh, 60 naira, that is how it will be. The day I was near you, you are here now, see me 500 naira. Number one, fuel, don't cost. Number two, milk is 900 now, each mudu. If you hold 10,000, I won't buy a lot. Now only 10 mudu go buy, the remaining chain for 1,000. So, yesterday I, I, I sleep with hungry. Money no day to buy things. Bandits that are disturbing us. I have been praying for for it. May they reduce things. I don't feel I can't do business in peace. Just hearing about the helicopter crash, some persons have developed a high blood pressure. Some of the persons displaced in these areas are taking refuge in the central primary school used as a temporary IDP camp. This woman and her family have been living in this camp for four years as the situation back home cannot permit them to return. They have driven us completely from our homes. That is why we are here. The killing is still on. Our children are battling ill health daily. If we don't go to beg, we will not eat. We want the government to arrest the situation so we can return to our homes. The help help us with your food before in this time no any help again. So we are here, no any food, no money to hospital, everything that you like. If you not go to work for Jebu, no anything that you do again. The women and children here are in need of food and adequate health care. The people in Chukuba and the adjoining communities here in Shuru Local Council are predominantly farmers. They cannot go back to their farms right now which makes a food shortage crisis imminent in the coming year. Chenemibami, TVC News, Guada.